A mad dash for last minute Christmas presents meant a mad dash to get to the mall. And KXLY 4's Anusha Roy is live at the Spokane Valley Mall tonight where traffic was in gridlock this afternoon. Anusha? Oh, well, Kalai was definitely jam-packed, especially right around the Spokane Valley Mall. We talked to plenty of people who got stuck in that holiday traffic earlier today. People were banking on easy shopping at the Spokane Valley Mall. Are you guys a part of that last minute rush? Of course. <laughs> yeah, we've still got a couple of days, right? So. The mall was buzzing with last minute shoppers, which meant braving some nasty traffic. Well, trying to find somewhere to park where it's close enough so that you can walk in. It was, it's pretty packed out there. Mall security said traffic was gridlocked from early afternoon to about six tonight. The roads around the mall were jam packed, leaving some people stuck for over 45 minutes. Most of the traffic was trying to leave the mall. Even later in the evening, there were still some crazy drivers out there. Yeah, it was a lot of impatience, you know, there was, you know, you pull up to a uh, stop sign and, you know, there's a gridlock across the street, you know, it's like you couldn't get out. One guy yelled at me because I was in the wrong place at the right, wrong time. And Some drivers were lucky enough to catch a break in the gridlock. And I just thought I wasn't going to make it to the mall because it was so crowded today, I heard. And we were very well surprised because it's wonderful and the shopping is great here right now. But for some, the crazy last minute shopping and the traffic is like a holiday tradition. At least that's the festive way to look at it. Well, you have to uh, look at it like it is Christmas fun or you'll have road rage. Well, now obviously things have calmed down quite a bit. The mall is closed, but when we were coming over at around 7 o'clock today, luckily we also didn't run into any of that bad traffic. Live in Spokane Valley, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.